discovering possibilities and potential with passion every day. This is a TPPN production. This is God's Word, read by Tim Chatton. Genesis chapter 10. This is the account of the families of Shem, Ham, and Zepheth, the three sons of Noah. Many children were born to them after the great flood. The descendants of Japheth were Gomor, Magak, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshish, and Tiras. The descendants of Gomar were Ashkenaz, Ripath, and Togama. The descendants of Javan were Enlesh, Tarish, Kitim, and Rodinin. Their descendants became the seafaring peoples that spread out to various lands, each identified by their own language, clan, and national identity. The descendants of Ham were Cush, Mazarim, Put, and Canaan. The descendants of Cush were Zaba, Havla, Zapath, Rama, and Zapata. The descendants of Rama were Sheba and Dadan. Cush was also the ancestor of Nimrod who was the first heroic warrior on the earth. Since he was the greatest hunter in the world, his name became proverbial. People will say, this man is like Nimrod, the greatest hunter in the world. He built his kingdom in the land of Babylon with the cities of Babylon, Iraq, Akkad, and Kalnak. From these, there he expanded his territory to Assyria, building the cities of Nemana, Rehobothir, Kala, and Resin, the great city located between Nineveh and Kala. Mizram was the ancestor of the Ludites, Anamites, Lipahites, Napatites, Pethrazites, Kazalahites, and the Kapholites, from whom the Philistines came. Canaan's oldest son was Sidon, the ancestor of the Sidians. Canaan was also the ancestor of the Hittites, Zippus, Amatois, Gerashites, Hivites, Arcates, Senates, Avratis, Zemrites, and Hamatis. The Canaanite clans eventually spread out, and the territory of Canaan extended from Zidon in the north to Gera and Gaza in the south, and east as far as Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma and Zadum near Lasha. These were the descendants of Ham, identified by clan, language, territory, and national identity. Sons were also born to Shem. The older brother of Japhath, Shem, was the ancestor of the descendants of Eber. The descendants of Shem were Alem, Asher, Arprasach, Lud, and Aram. The descendants of Aram were Uz, Hal, Gether, and Mash. Abkasand was the father of Shelah, and Shelah was the father of Eber. Eber had two sons, the first named Peleg, which means division, for during his lifetime, the people of the world were divided into, two, into different groups. His brother's name was Joktan. Joktan was the ancestor of Almada, Shelbada, Hazabalanthas, Shelath, Hadorom, Izal, Diklel, Obel, Ibemel, Sheba, Opia, Avala, and Jolba. All these were descendants of Joktan. The territory they occupied extended from Mesha all the way to Sepa in the eastern mountains. These were the descendants of Shem, identified by clan, language, territory, national identity. These are the clans that descended from Noah's sons, arranged by nation according to their lines of descendants. All the nations of the earth descended from these clans after the Great Flood. Feedback is welcomed at the Possibilities Network at gmail.com. For more information, please visit tppn.tv. With that, you have been listening to God's Word on tppn.tv.